fashions were graceful and dashing. The atmosphere was electric. And records continued to tumble at the industry's night of nights. Sydney's International Convention Centre welcomed in excess of 1,300 members of the travel community, keen to celebrate among friends and peers at the biggest awards night of its kind. It brings all of the amazing travel industry folk together um, to celebrate the night of nights, as they call it. Just to see the pride that people have when they are recognised for their efforts uh, is rewarding itself for me. The standard of professionalism that we have in Australia, uh, the absolute commitment and hard work from every sector of the business, and to come together as one and to showcase what we do together as one, I think makes it really special. The festivities started early with Nine Entertainment, the Sydney Morning Herald and The Age Traveller hosting the VIP drinks. And South African tourism wowed the crowd with a spectacular display upon arrival. Well, it's electric. Uh, atmosphere is always one of excitement. All the ladies are dressed to the nine, all the men are in their tuxes and um, yeah, it feels great. Feels great. I think it's a wonderful occasion when everybody uh, comes out, gets dressed up, and we celebrate the very best of the travel industry. AFTA's chief executive, Jason Westbury, set the tone for the night ahead. Well, NTIA 2019 is going to be our biggest ever. Uh, I think I say that every year, but I really mean it this year. Uh, we've got the introduction of the Cato Awards as a special category uh, within the NCIA, bringing together the land suppliers with the whole of industry. It's very exciting. As proceedings got underway, some familiar faces returned to the stage and others were duly celebrated for their lifetime achievement. What it has done is given me an extraordinary opportunity to sit around a table with some of the industry's best leaders and for that I'll be forever grateful. Then it was on to the awards with the industry's best given their time to shine. The winner is... And the winner is... This year the award goes to... Club Med. Virgin Australia. Michelle Barker from Jay's Travel. Party atmosphere continued as revellers hit the dance floor when music chart topper Paulini took the stage. Several Lucky Door Prize winners scooped amazing prizes courtesy of major sponsor Qantas, Air New Zealand and Star Alliance. The night also featured a special entertainment performance sponsored by Qantas. And as the event wrapped up, the young and the young at heart continued on to the Singapore Airlines after party. Media sponsors Travel Daily and Travel Bulletin congratulate all the winners in this year's awards.